Hi, I'm Mark from LM Small Engine. Today we're working on a Husqvarna Z246. It's a 24 horsepower Briggs, 46 inch cut, and it's springtime. They wanted to get it going. I suppose mow up the leaves and everything, but they turned the key and nothing happened, so they brought it in. They said they replaced the battery last year, but on these kind of lawn, any kind of lawnmower battery, it's not good having the batteries freeze all the time in the winter time so we're gonna sharpen the blade make sure the deck's level change all everything and i'm gonna charge up the battery put a load test on it make sure the battery's good if that ain't it we'll have to check the wiring so hope you enjoy the video okay we're gonna jack it up and sharpen the blades check the belt grease everything up underneath okay i'm gonna pop the blades off on on all the husqvarna's and all the AYP products, they, they have a 5, five eighths bolt. Take the blades off. They have that star pattern on them. Then we're going to go ahead and grease the zerks on the tires and on the front spindles. And on the 46 inch on, on the blade spindles, they have a grease zerk on the tops of them. And you want to check your, your deck belt. Make sure it's not cracked. Make sure everything's lined up and everything. I'll pop the blades off. And we'll check everything out. Okay, put a nice edge on the blades and always inspect your blades make sure when you line them up they're parallel to each other if one's bent one will it'll like go wide or whatever and on your blade spindles always check where the bolts go through make sure they're not the ears ain't cracked or broke off then we're going to put the blades on and make sure the bearings are good and we'll wiggle the blades around you know we make sure your wing tips are up you don't want to come on upside down. The wing tips are always up. Make sure you get them on the star. Then just inspect your deck for cracks. Make sure they're nice and tight. You don't want to over tighten them or strip out the threads. But wiggle them up and down. And that's how you tell if your bearings are bad. And these are in really good shape. And make sure... When you put them side by side, they're the same, same let their level. You don't want one higher or lower than the other one. Like on this one here, we got grease zerks here and here on the tires. And we're going to check the pressure. And it will say on the side of the tire what pressure they are or the max pressure. Never go over that pressure. Well, this one here says 42 pounds. I just probably put like 20 pounds in the front ones. And on the back one, especially on zero turns, they both need to have the same air pressure so it cuts level. And on the back ones, I think maximum inflation on these are 15. I'd like put like 12 in them. So I'll get that done. Put the battery on. See if it's good. Okay, we're going to drain the oil on this Briggs. It says Husqvarna on the motor, but it's a, it's a Briggs motor. It's a 44 cubic inch. And on a lot of these motors, I like this drain assembly. It's a hose that's hooks up to your shroud and just pull it down and put our oil bucket under there and let it drain put some weight on there like a hammer or something oil don't look that dirty then we're going to change the plugs and around the holes it's good to take an air hose and the blower to blow all the debris around there so we take the plugs out grass and stuff don't get stuck on the threads and stuff and Check the air filter. You don't look that old, but it has some debris on there and stuff. So we're going to blow this. Take this pre-filter off and blow it out real good. And we'll blow that out. I don't need replacing it. You can kind of see light through there. Blow this out in here real good. So when it's done draining oil, we're going to change oil filter. Put new oil in there and everything. And we'll see if we can't start her up. Okay, it's got in putting the battery in. I check what? Charge it on two amps when you charge these lawnmower batteries. Don't use a six amp or nothing. Two amp, no no higher than two amp or a trickle charger works just fine. The slow steady charge is a lot better than the fast one on these lawnmower batteries. Anyway, I cleaned out the compartment where the air filter goes and I blew out the filter and everything. And I put fresh oil in there. A new oil filter i replace the spark plugs and the fuel filter i always do that on spring tune-up so that way when they're ready to mow this summer all they gotta do is turn the key and go so and on these 
44 cubic 44 cubic inch v twins two quarts oil with the oil filter and make sure that caps on tight and make sure it's back up on the shroud so you don't lose your oil so let's see if it starts here we don't choke <laughs> Well, there you go. You know, they put that battery in new last year. But like I said, we let these things sit outside. That part of the country where I live freezes every night in the wintertime. And that's not good on these lawnmower batteries. It takes a lot of life out of them. But anyways, I hope this helps you, you know, on, on your Husqvarna or pretty much any kind of lawnmower. A little preventive maintenance lasts a long, long time on these. And the relatively no problems and when you check everything over in the springtime. So... Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Appreciate you watching. If you like my videos, please press the like button and please subscribe. Anyways, you have a good afternoon. Bye.